we are explorers. At the heart of it, we humans are all explorers. But we get stuck in the city in jobs and responsibilities to make a lot of money. But when you make a lot of money, you buy cars like these. We're driving from Delhi to Khardungla. This is going to be one hell of a road trip. What you see behind me are a bunch of M cars, this JCW Mini and that GLA 35. That's what we're driving. And we're driving from Delhi to Khardungla via Srinagar, Gulmarg. That's where we are right now. And then we go to Zojila, we cross Zojila and head to Khardungla. This is going to be one epic road trip. So like, share and subscribe. Follow the Evo India channel for beautiful drives like these. The drive started in Gurgaon where we put a set of Bredestein Ultrac Warty I tyres on our car. These are performance car tyres made in India at the Apollo Tyre Factory and so I was assured of service along the way. Back to the drive, Gurgaon to Srinagar is mostly highways and we have seen such cars on wide open highways. So let me skip to the good part, right to the mountains of Kashmir and Ladakh. We are giving away this cool modball run t-shirt to 10 lucky winners. All you have to do is name at least 15 cars you see in this video in the comments below and stand the chance to win this limited edition t-shirt from Mod Crew. We've driven about 1500 kilometers from Gurgaon to the outskirts of Kargil on our way to Leh. And quite frankly, the road trip has been a surprise for me. Some of the roads are butter smooth, excellent. Of course, you get a few potholes here and there, but throughout the roads have been quite great. When I was driving the AMG from Gurgaon, my apprehensions were that when we find bad patches of road, when we have to do off-roading, how are we going to handle that? Not as much for just the GLA 35 because it's got all-wheel drive and it's got good ground clearance, but we've got 21 other cars with us, cars with low ground clearance, cars that are rear-wheel drive and with over 400 horsepower. Quite frankly, it's been quite a revelation driving up to Kargil and Leh on these beautiful winding roads. This is the first time something like this is ever happening in the country. It's so many cars coming together, so many enthusiasts coming together, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Our GLA 35 AMG has got these Vredestein Ultrac Warty I tires. The I stands for Made in India tires. These are made at the Apollo factory in Chennai. And these are two-ply tyres so with strong sidewalls. So I'm the least bit worried about the bad roads on this journey. It takes potholes and bad roads with ease. In fact, uh, although this is a GLA 35 AMG, it's as easy, as calm to drive as a GLA when you want it to. And as mental when you put it into sport mode. And open the tabs. The GLA 35 AMG has adjustable suspension um, but I prefer it to be in comfort most of the time unless the road is absolutely smooth. Uh, so what I do is I set it in individual mode and I put the engine in dynamic and everything else is uh, relaxed. Uh, the gearbox, I use the paddle shifters so I'm in the right gear at every corner and the suspension is set up in comfort that's ideal for our roads and it takes uh, some of the bad roads with ease. What's also great about the new Ultrac Warty tyres is that these are larger tyres than the stock tyres that come with this car. These are 255-50 R19s to the 235-50 R19s. Uh, that gives about 10 mm of extra ground clearance which is excellent on a, a road trip to Ladakh. Enough of me and the GLA 35 AMG, let me get back to the other cars on this drive. Because just look at these car and location combinations. An M2, a 911 and a 488 exiting Srinagar on the way to Gulmarg. A beautiful shot of the M2 in the rain with the pine forests of Kashmir in the background. M3s and M4s and the S4 and S6 
all fast tune cars on roads that have never seen such cars in fact cars that have never seen such roads it's surreal this drive already it's like an impossible dream manifesting in front of our eyes We've driven from Srinagar to Sonmarg for the path that everyone's been waiting for. Right behind me is Zojila Pass. I don't know whether you can catch it in the camera, but I can see traces of snow even now. So it's going to be tricky, it's going to be slippery. We've got a lot of rear wheel drive sports cars and sedans with us. So it's going to be a huge challenge tomorrow. I've got the GLA 35 with me and it's got all wheel drive, so I'm not that bothered. Let's see what's in store for us tomorrow morning. It was one impossible task capturing the cars cross the Zojila in thick fog but cross over to the other side and you really get to enjoy the high horsepower cars. With an average of 400 horsepower per car, the road down to Dras and Kargil is where the convoy finally enjoyed our entry into Ladakh. How the landscape changes once you cross Zojila. Just till yesterday we were driving all the way to Sonmark and the mountains were lush green. In fact, you could see a few glaciers also on the mountains behind where we were staying. Uh, otherwise, they're lush green. You see horses uh, on the meadows and the landscape is absolutely breathtaking in Kashmir. But when you cross over from the Zojila to Ladakh, it goes barren and uh, the mountains are a lot more intimidating here. It's a different type of charm. It's, uh, it's stunning in its own ways, uh, but the way you enter into Ladakh and the landscape changes, that makes the drive even more interesting because you're not used to seeing what you're seeing over here till you reach Sonmar, where everything is lush green, the rivers are flowing and everything is beautiful. And then you cross over, cross Z Zojila, the challenging uh, route of Zo Zojila and you come into Ladakh and you see these dry, dry barren mountains and absolutely nothing around you. Because the GLA 35 has adjustable suspension, you can uh, switch it from comfort to sport to sport plus and that changes the handling characteristics of the car. Uh, it is uh, sportier definitely in sport plus, uh, everything goes down. Uh, even the exhaust, uh, the valves open up so it's a lot louder and more engaging to drive um, and uh, on these winding roads of course because it's an SUV you get a bit of roll but it holds through every corner it's got all-wheel drive so the grip out of each corner is amazing and the uh, compound of these new ultra quality eyes uh, are just right for our roads uh, the surface of these uh, bitumen roads that are built over here uh, are a little rough uh, so you can't have very, very, very soft compounds on these roads. You need just the right sort of compound that Vredestein is making for these tyres. Uh, these are made for India and that sort of shows because it works on these roads. It works really well on these roads. These Jujaro design tyres come from a 110 year old European brand. Expecting good grip was a given, but not only the handling, these tyres excelled when it came to braking and ride comfort as well on all the terrains we put it through. Once we get to lay, the climb up to Khardungla starts the next morning. It's cold and it's wet, the air is thin and we continue to climb up the mountain. Flakes of snow add to the drama. If not just for these trucks and buses coming down the mountain, you wouldn't believe this is happening somewhere in India. Until the road is buried under a pile of mud from a landslide. Cars with tyres meant to carve corners, gingerly crossing over some ridiculous obstacles. That is what an adventure is, right? Everything doesn't have to go too smooth. We've finally done it. The Modball run has reached Khardungla, almost 18,000 feet. The highest Ferrari, the Ferrari 480 in the world. Right behind is the GLA 35, our humble GLA 35. Behind us is a stage three Audi S6. 
It's dishing out over 650 horsepower. How crazy is that? They've driven all the way to Khardungla. Right behind is the M340i and the mental Audi S4 driven by a good friend Imran. Right here is the M2 that you've been seeing on Instagram is going viral. Here's a C63 AMG with over 1100 Nm of torque to the rear wheels. How crazy is that man? And wow, it's been a beautiful drive. Crazy cars to Khardungla. A epic, epic, epic drive. Woo. These Redistines were a great enabler in the drive, providing perfect combination of handling, grip and comfort. I must say it stacks up with the best of tyres in the market for these performance cars. We proved that it is possible to live the life of a petrol head to the fullest in a country that reveals only the best it has to offer to those who dare to seek it. In the process, we opened up the roof of the world to a whole new bunch of enthusiasts.